Hello, my friends. Welcome to my spring 2022 newsletter. I'm reporting to you from Vienna, Austria. I'm here working on a production of Lucia di Lammermoor, which opens very soon, April the 16th. Before I get started on my newsletter, I just want to give a shout out to my husband, Stephen, who is amazing and hilarious. He's sitting here holding a boom mic right above me. There it is. Hi. And it, normally, Stevie, I mean, Steven is amazing. He's done such great videography, photography stuff, and he's getting better and better all the time. And we get so many compliments on our website, on our social media, on our posts. And I want you all to know it is because of Steven. And that's the end of that. The only thing that I do, honey, is beat this face, because you know. I'm all about that life. Now, I would like to talk about Lucia di Lammermoor. I'm here for four performances in Vienna. We open on the 16th of April, which is actually a week from today. Uh, and this is going to be um, the first Lucia I've sung in four years. I have prepared Lucia during the pandemic. I was meant to um, debut a production of Lucia at La Scala, which unfortunately was postponed due to, to the pandemic, but it is going to be done again. And there have been a lot of season announcements coming out in the past couple of weeks. And I hesitate to talk about them because in my newsletter, I try to keep everything kind of encapsulated uh, into the next three months since I put out a newsletter once every few months. Um, but I do want to just say how excited I am to be returning to um, the Opera Nationale de Paris, how I'm excited to be returning to the Royal Opera, to the Metropolitan Opera, to the Arena di Verona, and many more places. Um, there have been so many wonderful things coming out and I'm happy to see theaters reopening, announcing their seasons. And I don't feel as like hopeless anymore as I did there for a while um, because it seemed like every time we turned around there was a cancellation and that was really, really rough. And I know a lot of artists went through um, some really difficult times, myself included, but a lot of people way worse than me. And I'm glad that I had a very strong family, um, that I maintained my health knocking on wood. I'm still testing, right? We're testing several times per week in order to keep singing safely, in order to keep making music and bringing music to live um, audiences. So please just keep that in mind as we go forward that, you know, I don't take this for granted at all anymore. If I ever did, which I never did, but if I ever did, I certainly don't anymore. I never would. Um, so I'm very grateful for all of these wonderful things that are coming up. Um, this Lucia in Vienna, after this Lucia, um, we will be doing uh, a production of Lucia at the Zurich Opera, which I, is my debut at the Open House Zurich. And I'm very excited because I've always wanted to sing there. I have heard such incredible things about that theater. I respect the theater greatly. And it is a production of Lucia, which I was meant to debut last year. I wasn't able to because of my vaccine schedule. Long story short, I'm going next year, this year, next month. <laughs> <laughs> and we open that in May. I believe the premiere is the 22nd of May. And there are five performances. Please come if you can. All the details are on my website. Um, the next very exciting thing is that I'm going to be singing uh, La Traviata in Munich for two performances there at the end of June, the very beginning of July. So I think it's like June 28th, July 2nd, or June 30, July 2nd, something like that. But it's two performances only. Um, on my website, the details are very clear there. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have them memorized at the moment, but I'm, I'm taking things kind of one month at a time. I used to memorize my schedule like eight months out, and now I memorize my schedule like literally eight days out, if that, because so many things um, keep having last minute changes. They still are having last minute changes, but at least we're not having like major entire shutdowns. I'm knocking on like every surface I can think of uh, to prevent that. I hope that that never happens again. Oh, but anyway, let's talk about the exciting things. Two Lucias and a Traviata. And the other very exciting thing is that my uh, studio recording of La Traviata has been uh, pre kind of pre-released and it's going to be released officially on the 27th of May. I'm very excited about this because this was a pandemic recording and I've made three recordings now during the pandemic and I have never experienced a non-pandemic recording but all I can say is what it takes to bring it together uh, is extraordinary. I, I've never seen such a dedicated workforce of people all trying to work like a clock because everything has, to, all the pieces have to fit together exactly right. And during COVID, during the lockdowns and when the time when was, this was recorded and made, it was extremely difficult to get all the pieces in line and everything was risky and always like the chance, you had to have like five backup plans 
and then there was still the chance that everything would totally fall apart. So, I mean, this recording was made as a, it was a complete act of love, a complete act of devotion and dedication from the entire team. So I'm so grateful that it is finally going to see the light of day on May 27th. Uh, all the details for that, of course, are on my website, Made by Steven. And uh, of course, you can always follow me on my social media. There are more concerts kind of coming up, but a few of them haven't been announced. So I would like to wait until official announcements are out in order to talk about those. But there are some more things coming up in the next couple of months. So stay tuned for all of those details. Thank you so much, as always, for following me. I appreciate all of your messages, all of your kind words, and of course, all of your support in theaters, online and everywhere. Much love to you. Have a great spring. Take care. Bye.
Production of Die Entführung aus dem Serai, right here in Vienna at the Staatsoper. Please come join us. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, I am here at the Wiener Staatsoper in the intermission. We just finished the first half of Die Entführung aus dem Serai, which has all three of my arias in the first half. No problem. Second half is the quartet and the duet with Belmonte. I hope that you are here enjoying the show.